What's up guys, my name is Mangua. We heard back with more Star Wars Rebels around episode 18 and it's called Secret Cargo. So man, last episode, of course, Thrawn figures out Kalos is the traitor of the Imperials or the Empire. So it, I'm not surprised Thrawn figured it out. It was just not a surprise. I was like, of course. I was like, of course he figured it out. Of course. Just that one little artifact they left, which is the helmet, which Sabine painted. Of course, he's gonna like, yeah, I connect it with this, and then this is this is Sabine's work, and the person that was on the ship was Ezra, <laughs> Ezra, and everyone was like, what? How did you figure that out? I'm like, cause I'm not stupid. <laughs> he didn't say that, but you know, basically, he's just not an idiot. And now Kaos is, he's, he needs to hurry up and get out of there. I'm just say that right now. He needs to hurry up and get the fuck out of there now. But now he doesn't know. Now I think Thrawn's gonna use him. Just uh, let him put, just throw information out there. Just let him give information to the rebels so they can figure out where it's coming from, where it's where it's going, basically the transmission, so they can get the rebels. So he needs to hurry up and figure this. Kalos needs to hurry up and figure this out and get the hell out of there <laughs> really quick. But we're gonna check out this next episode. It's called uh, Secret Cargo. So let's go. In zero ten, I will discuss the dramatic events transpiring in your Imperial City. I hope we're not going to be hiding in this can forever. There's only so much holonet I can take. I'd say they're late, but we don't even know when they're supposed to show up. Or who we're meeting. <laughs> Our Senator Organa wants them to get where they're going, and he's trusting us to get them fuel. If he trusts us, why is he keeping us in the dark? You know as much as I do. No wonder Kanan volunteered for that supply run. Yeah. <laughs> the Imperial Senator Mothma of Chandrilla has shocked the Senate with her treasonous remarks against Emperor Palpatine. I named Mom Emperor Mafa. himself for ordering the brutal attacks on the people of Gorman. Their peaceful world is one of countless systems one of the leaders of the rebels. against his oppressive rule. Is proof that our self-appointed Emperor is little more than a lying executioner. I'm surprised she's still breathing. <laughs> what in the hell? It's our contact. I don't think so. Chopper, scan. Ah, shit, what the fuck is that? A probe? What's it doing way out here? Speaks Imperial. That's bad. Before it spots us. Ezra, get in the nose gun. But hold your fire. We don't want to attract attention if we can avoid it. Nobody make. A move. Oh, it's one of those probe joints they found on their uh, base. I'll be convinced when it leaves. That doesn't look like leaving. No, it's gonna go. No. Must be scanning for life signs. Oh no! Oh no! Yep, do it now. He already saw you. Come on! Come on! What the fuck is that? Never mind. Stay on target. Got it. <sighs> we catch you at a bad time. Sorry about that, Gold Squadron. Close call with an Imperial probe. Were you detected? Chances are is high. Is that guy from Episode Four? Begin Maybe. We need to get out of here before the Empire arrives. Hello, I presume. I'm Erskine Semaj, Senatorial Attaché, and this is Captain Vander. He leads Gold Squadron. This is Vander. Ezra and Zeb, and Chopper. Please understand, due to security concerns, your crew will not be allowed to board our vessel. Well, you're all welcome aboard ours. We've heard a lot about you, Phoenix Squadron. You have? Yeah. You blew up the comm tower on Lothal, and Tarkin's Star Destroyer. The tower wasn't us, but the Star Destroyer. Guilty as charged. <laughs> you might think twice before you pull another stunt like that. The Imperials have tightened security throughout the entire Outer Rim as a result. You're making things harder for all of us. Now stop complaining. We don't mind doing things the hard way. Let's have this. It's going to be hard, right? <laughs> Your little encounter may have jeopardized this mission. We did the best we could, but you didn't give us much information to go on. Look, that probe. It was probably looking for us specifically. We are carrying cargo highly valuable to the rebellion, and desperately. There is secret the cargo. Empire. What the fuck? Gold leader, we have enemy contact. Imperial cruiser in fighting. Move to intercept. I'm on my way. 
No! Gold 2 is down. Seth, get it a medical. The one who can fly it? He can do it. Hey, let's get to fly it. Why wing? We need to detach from the transport or we're all going down. Chopper jettison the fuel pod and get ready. Uh, uh, the hatch is jammed. Well, we'll have to detach it manually. Come on. Transport's lost shields. Get everyone off the transport and on the coast now. My Mothma! Must be of assistance, Captain. Senator Mon Mothma. For introductions will have to wait, I'm afraid. Right. If you could help my droid, I'll get us out of here. Take your shot, kid. Whoa, what was that? I don't care. We almost have it. Detach complete. Three. This is my crew, Zeb Aurelios. This is so cool. One of your bombers, Ezra Bridger. I know of young Mr. Bridger, and I thank you, Captain Aurelius. We saw your speech on the holonet. You really let the Emperor have it. I only wish words had more of an impact. Senator, let's forget this mission and get you back to Chandrilla to a proper hiding place. No hiding. My presence at the meeting is not optional. You mean THE meeting? The process of building an alliance, uniting the various rebel cells across the galaxy. My challenge to the Emperor was a call to stand against the Empire. Involvement has been a secret, but the Empire will be attempting to track any ship that tries to leave this system. I know a way to sneak you out of the sector. Defended their transport vigorously, but we thwarted their attempt to refuel. A scan of the vessel before it was destroyed revealed no cargo aboard, and only a small crew. Decoy. The cargo was something prized. A certain Senate aspect. The Senator is the cargo. Her capture is a priority. If she escaped aboard the Ghost, where is she now? There, the Archeon Pass. A favorite of outer rim smugglers. Through the nebula. Our capital ships can't follow her. Precisely. So I readied my new prototype and our best pilot to hunt down and capture this rogue senator. It's like you, traveling through the stars. You can always leave your problems far behind you. Can't imagine you running from your problems. I've spent my life in the Senate, trying to do good, to preserve the rights of the people. And we are grateful. A little good it's done. The Emperor has crushed freedom over the years, bit by bit. I've opposed him where I could, but I've begun to see that the fight cannot be won. Makes her a bit higher out here on the front lines. Instead of being outvoted, you're outgunned. Life or death, it's a new experience, being on the run. Takes, this rebellion is worth it. The Archeon Nebula. There's stars forming in there. Get too close and you'll burn up. I can handle it. Hera taught me a few tricks. She's the best around. Of course. There it is, the new prototype. Fighter inbound. Looks like a tie of some kind. Attention, Rebel ship. This is Commander Volskaris of the Imperial Navy. You are harboring a traitor to the Empire. Surrender immediately. Ah, uh, screw you. Goal three and four. Send him our reply. Yes. <laughs> How did they're both of you? I know that ship. It's a prototype TIE Defender. It's armed with heavy cannons and shields. Close formation. We might be able to lose him in the nebula. And disable your proton torpedoes. Why? They've been known to ignite the gas in clouds like these. Yeah, you got to. The shields are too strong. He's got a lock on you! No. It's just us now. They're too fast. We can't outrun them. Ain't over yet. Gold leaders, stay tight. We're going in close to that forming star. Ooh, it's burning up. You got one. Dead. Oh, no, 
While you get the senator out of here. He's right. Go now. We got this. You got to be kidding me. Not a new problem. Two of them. Oh my god. Dude, get me emergency power. They've sustained damage to their core systems, and it seems Commander Skerris has dealt with their Y Wing escort in the nebula. Hail the rebel ship. This is Governor Price. You have been charged with treason against the Empire. Now submit or be destroyed. Very well. She'll never keep her word. I know. I'm stalling her while you figure out a plan. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be I'll smart. <laughs> keep working. So I like her. Look out! He's on top of us! Bring him right to you. Be ready with that ion cannon. He's too fast. I'll never hit him. Sure you will. Just fire when I tell you. An impressive list of demands, Senator. Well, you must understand I cannot allow others to pay the price for my actions. Watching the hyperdrive. Just another few moments. Iron range now, Governor. Activate tractor beam. Your requests are denied, Senator. Prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Chop! Divert all power to the engines. Uh -oh. Ready! I'm gonna fly right through your sights. What if I hit you? He can't, so you won't either. And fire! These things are powerful, man. Cover from that ion blast. But you bought us some time. Era, what's the plan? We're not gonna be able to break free. I'm sorry, Senator. I'm going to have to shut her down. Hera, do you read me? Ezra! Use the eye! Ezra, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Oh, great. Two rebel fighters have exited the nebula and are moving to attack our flank. We'll shoot them down. They're too little too late. Yeah, they gotta hurry to destroy the tractor beam. Proton torpedoes. Negative, do not attack the Star Destroyers. Fire at the Nebula! The Nebula? Of course! Remember what Harris said about firing torpedoes in the Nebula? I understand, Phoenix Leader. We're going in. We'll know in a minute. Chopper, be ready on the hyperdrive. Pretty good idea. Might help. Yeah, they're pretty close to it. Whoa! That was so cool. Ha ha! Out of here. <laughs> Phoenix leader, that was some of the best fighting I've ever seen. I could say the same, Gold Leader. Kid, you can fly in my squadron any day. Coming up on the rendezvous point. Ready to transmit, Senator. Let's just hope someone's listening. This is Senator Mon Mothma. I've been called a traitor for speaking out against a corrupt galactic senate. A senate manipulated by the sinister tactics of the Emperor. For too long, I've watched the heavy hand of the Empire strangle our liberties and our freedoms in the name of ensuring our safety. No longer. Despite Imperial Hey, the threat, governor. Despite the Emperor himself. I'm not alone. Beginning today, we stand together as allies. I hereby resign from the Senate to fight for you. Not from the distant halls of politics, front lines. We will not rest until we bring an end to the Empire. Until we restore our Republic. Look! Whoa! Ho <laughs> ho! Look how many there are. This, my friends, this is our rebellion. Okay, yo, just from her from saying that message to get all the uh, rebel cells together, they just all just 
just flew in. Just like, what? So she obviously she was the one that got all everyone together, and that's why she's like the main leader of the rebellion. And she was part of the Senate. Um, the Senate. I remember there was like a deleted scene in episode three, the movie. You know, Star Wars episode three, and she was in the movie, but they, they didn't put they didn't put her in the movie. She was part of the Senate at the time. You know, yeah, at that time, before you know the Republic uh, portrayed you know the Jedi and stuff, which is just unbelievable so she quit the senate now i know she quit the senate and then she joined the rebels and that's how it you know she, that's how it all began like she be, she's the one that began everything to get everyone together uh it was just it, this episode was amazing i really 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 enjoyed it um and i just wonder if they're ever gonna you know show like kyle katarn if you guys know who kyle katarn is you know it's like this this jedi who doesn't see himself as a jedi uh he's just the guy he's just the guy with the lightsaber <laughs> it's just like I, I wonder i just wonder um you know because what was that game called jedi outcast or, that game was the best the lightsaber combat and that shit was like the best and that it was just, it was awesome like the story mode on it was just unbelievable in that game uh i wonder if they're ever gonna show him i always wonder maybe next season i don't know i don't know that'd be really cool to you know to show that type of character in there because he's he's usually never really talked about i know he did meet mom Maffa somewhere down the line or whatever but it that's a whole different story but you know this story was just really good the episode was really good i like i said i enjoyed it i'm glad all the rebels are now finally coming together as one fleet all the cells from all different across you know from across the galaxy are coming together so yeah it was a good episode guys post your comments down below guys tell me what you guys think about this episode tell me what would the next episode might be uh is it gonna be really good is it gonna be really bad those type of you know comments and stuff but don't forget to like comment and share and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel the goal is 100,000 subscribers but as always guys i'll see you guys in the next reaction